When I was an underclassman trying to land a software engineering internship, I reached out to somebody that I was connected with who was a current software engineer, who was an interviewer for other software engineers, and at one point a recruiter, and he gave me this piece of advice that completely changed the game for me. And I feel like after I did this, it was like boom, a switch went off, and I was getting interviews after interviews, and they just kept flowing in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kazim, aka Zim the Dream, and I'm a software engineer at a top tech company. And if you want to know what to actually put on your resume as a freshman with little to no experience, keep on watching this video. On this channel, I give you guys helpful CS advice and tips on how you can land your next software engineering internship or job, but I'll also show you my real life as a software engineer through vlogs and other videos. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, you already know what to do, go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that I have to post. So setting up your resume is an extremely key step to getting that CS interview, which will lead you to that CS internship or software engineering internship. And if you wanna know how to actually land a software engineering internship this year, I already have a video up on my channel going step by step on how you can do this. So you can check that video out after this one. But for now, let's get started in talking about what you can put on your resume as a freshman with little to no experience. So I'm gonna start off with some things that maybe you thought of or maybe you didn't, but it's going to progressively get more creative and interesting to things that most likely the peers around you are not doing and it's going to make you stand out. So first things first, you need to start off by having a solid resume template. I always like to link the resume template that I made that helped me get tons of interviews. So you can check that out on my website as a free resource. But if you don't want to use that, there are tons of free resume templates online that you can use. Just make sure that you have a solid one to start off with. If I was a freshman in college with little to no experience, the very first thing that I would add to my resume is previous high school work experience, awards, and clubs. A very huge bonus if this previous experience is technical, but as a freshman, no company is really going to expect you to have a fully stacked technical resume because you're a freshman and that's just not realistic. You know, you're just getting started with your computer science journey, so it's just not likely that you have a fully stacked technical resume but your previous work experience can be tailored. For example, my senior year of high school, I was working at Jamba Juice and I did add this to my resume. So I knew that software engineers have to be leaders, they have to work well in teams and they have to work independently. So I tailored all of those soft skills and such and put that underneath my description under Jamba Juice. I basically made it so that it showed this person would work well as a software engineer. This is only going to take a small portion of your resume, but it is something. It shows that you have some sort of work experience working with with people and this is you know you need something to add on your resume it can't just be empty I also did AP computer science principles in high school so any of the projects activities things that were done in that class I could add that onto my resume because that would automatically make my resume more technical and it was also related to my major which was computer science so again if it's non-technical tailor it and if you have technical experience great add that if you've done any coding courses any boot camps anything you can add that onto your resume as as a freshman with little to no experience in college. All right, so next, as a freshman with no experience, you need to be actively trying to get involved, and that means getting involved with all of your university's clubs, any activities, initiatives that are on campus that are relating to your major or relating to what you wanna do in the future, maybe that's software engineering, product management, program management, whatever it is, you need to be seeking out those clubs. Once you seek out those clubs, those hackathons, those initiatives, those competitions, that is the next thing that you're gonna put on your resume. As a freshman, as an underclassman, these clubs are gonna be really crucial in giving you more information about your major and also just giving you more information about real industry experience. You want to join as many of these as possible that you're interested in because this is gonna be crucial in setting you up for success and it's gonna allow you to put stuff on your resume without even having to venture too far in the club or activity. So for me, my freshman year, I was involved in National Society of Black Engineers Nesby for short. Nesby through several events throughout the year, networking events, general information about computer science, and just getting me adjusted into the major. This is great because a club like Nesby, I can add that to my resume, and oftentimes they're gonna have events that connect you to other things that you can then circle back and add those to your resume. So for example, Nesby just might have an info session on a hackathon that's going on. That hackathon, 
I could add that to my resume and I could add the project that I did in that hackathon. So it's just like you want to make sure that you're involved and you're connected because that is going to be crucial to building your resume when you have little to no experience. All right, so the next thing that you can add to your resume with little to no experience is university class projects. You are already going to be doing these projects for a grade in the class and naturally they're going to have a step-by-step -step guideline on how to complete this project. So this is a perfect thing that you can add to your resume with little to no experience. Number one, it's already going to be done. Number two, you can have talking points of any challenges, any roadblocks that you face while doing these projects. And then also the triumphs, like how did you succeed? How did you complete it? And I feel like that's super underrated. People don't think that they can add their university class projects, but their projects, their projects that you've done and you've completed. And you can even take those projects and add your little twist to it and you know, really make it your own and add that to your resume. And the great thing about it is you're not doing any extra work outside of the already assigned homework assignment that you had to complete so if you can create a brand new project that solves a problem that's great but most likely as a freshman with little to no experience you're still getting adjusted to computer science programming languages and you don't have the experience to create a new project from scratch but the good thing for you is that there are tons of online projects that exist already that have step-by-step -step guidelines on how to complete a project from start to finish with the programming language of your choice and you can make adjustments and tailor that project to making it your own. YouTube is a great resource for this. They have tons of projects and they show you how you can create it from start to finish. And this is a great starting point to showing you how projects are created and giving you inspiration on the things that you can do to create a project on your own. One of the projects that I created when I was an underclassman in college was Secret Santa with Python. My friends, every year we would just put our names into a hat and do that to randomize the order of who had who for Secret Santa. So I just decided to make a program that would do this for us. Another project that I did was a random shoe generator that basically just had a collection of shoes that I had in my closet and randomly chose one for the day. And that's what I was doing. I was taking things that I enjoyed, things that were fun, and I was making projects out of them that solved a problem for me. And again, you can do the same. There are tons of online free resources for creating projects from start to finish, and you can do those and add those to your resume. So I do wanna talk about something that is super Super underrated and would definitely set you apart from all of the freshmen in your class. When I was an underclassman trying to land a software engineering internship, I reached out to somebody that I was connected with who was a current software engineer, who was an interviewer for other software engineers, and at one point a recruiter. And he gave me this piece of advice that completely changed the game for me. And I feel like after I did this, it was like boom, a switch went off, and I was getting interviews after interviews, and they just kept flowing in. And that was adding certified courses or programs to to my resume using Coursera or Udemy or any reputable company that teaches courses. I feel like that advice that that software engineer gave me really helped me enhance my resume and just set me apart from my other peers because nobody was going the extra mile to take a certified course. Like they just weren't doing that on top of the course load that we already had. Nobody was just going out of their way to do that. So I felt like that really showed that I was taking initiative and it set me apart from everybody else. And the good thing about this, if you have little to no experience, Let's say Coursera, for example, they have courses that have very short duration, like one to two weeks. It's very short compared to like months and months and months of long boot camps that you have to take. You can do this and get a certificate at the end and you can add that to your resume. When I was an underclassman, I took intro courses to AI and machine learning. Those were two things that I were interested in and that I thought would make my resume stand out. And I got the certificate and I added those certificates to my resume. And you can absolutely do the same thing. You can find a course that's interesting to you. It doesn't have to be through Coursera or Udemy, but make sure that you get like some sort of certificate or some sort of like award at the end. And you can add this to your resume and you can add this to LinkedIn even. And this can just help enhance the work experience that you have because it shows that you're taking initiative. It shows that you wanna learn. It shows that you care about what it is that you're doing and it's gonna help enhance your resume. So that's everything. If I was a freshman with no experience, I would take everything that we talked about in this video and I would add that to my resume. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a like and of course subscribe down below for more videos. It would really help my channel out a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.
Thank you.